Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you all how I have been maintaining my weight loss while being quarantined. Uh, it has been a struggle um, as it's probably been for you guys as well, but I just wanted to come on and just share a few of my tips and tricks that I use and it's literally been helping me and I feel like it's not forced. So I have gotten some questions from a few of you asking me kind of like what my workout routine is now that I'm not going to the gym and now that I'm not like having like one-on-one -on -one training sessions anymore and literally this is everything that I've been doing. I have not really switched up at all. So let's get started. First thing, put on workout clothes first thing when you wake up. I cannot stress to you how helpful that has been for me. Literally, I will lay out my workout clothes that I want to wear for the next day the night before just to ensure that I am ready to work out at some point throughout the day. Now, I may not work out first thing in the morning. I may not even work out early afternoon, but throughout the day at some point, I will get at least 30 minutes of exercise or some activity done. Like it's non-negotiable, like I have to do it. So that brings me to my next tip. Do some type of activity throughout the day for at least 30 minutes. So if you have stairs in your home, run up and down the stairs. I know it's boring and it's not the most exciting workout, but it definitely works. If you have a jump rope, do some jump roping however many you can do. Some other things that I use, I use my kettlebell. I do have a 10 pound kettlebell. I use that all the time. I do have some free weights that I use. I think they're like five. I have a five and 10 pound set of just free weights. So I use those. Um, I also do at home workout videos. If you guys follow my vlogs, you know I rave about Heather Robertson. I absolutely love her workouts. I have not met one of her workouts that I did not like. Um, she is everything and her consistency is amazing. This woman commits every single day to uploading videos and they are awesome videos like they only get better each video gets better and better and better so I'm so proud of her she just reached like 500,000 subscribers on her channel so I will definitely put a link for her so you guys can go check her out I know a lot of you are already doing her workouts and you love it because you've sent me your messages and DMs and uh, copied me in on your workouts and everything so keep up the good work Heather is awesome so yes definitely recommend her for sure also, some other things that I do um, that I was doing before um, we were quarantined is I still weigh myself every single day. Uh, it definitely is not for everybody. I know that, but it works for me. It helps keep myself in check. I know it does have the opposite effect on some other people. Some people don't like getting on a scale because they just they don't need that negativity in their life uh for me i need that type of uh negativity because it puts me in check so seeing my weight helps me throughout the day to know what things i can eat and what things i should not eat it also helps me think about what i ate the day before and if i see a change <laughs> in the scale i'm like okay yep you had one too many treats. You had one too many little chocolates. You had one too many, you know, cookies. So it definitely keeps me in check in that way. Yes, I am a firm believer in weighing yourself every single day. It's just something that I do. It helps me and just keeps me in check. And so, yeah, daily exercise is essential for me. I have to either walk every day i do the stairs in my home every day i do jump rope and i do at home workouts that's literally like my routine right now me and my son go for walks sometimes i run every single day it's good for me it lets him you know stretch his legs get some fresh air we get out we have fun it's kind of like his recess in my workout all in one and it's fun for us to do together. So I definitely encourage you getting outside. If you live somewhere right now where the weather is nice, like 
today it's upwards in the 60s for us so we'll definitely be getting out and walking and spending a lot of time outdoors um, because those days are very rare here right now this weather is really tricky so take full advantage of this great weather get outside work out you can do all these workouts outside as well you know so if you live somewhere that has like an out, outside stairwell do the stairs outside. Do your jump rope outside. If you have a garage, do garage workouts with your uh, garage door open and let some fresh air come in. You're still in the comfort of your home. You're still practicing social distancing and getting workouts in. So I highly, highly encourage people to do some type of workout throughout the day. Do not let a day go by that you're not being active for at least 30 minutes a day. As far as my eating, I've pretty much stuck to the same eating habits that I had before. I am a little bit stricter on myself now versus then. Um, before, when I was going into the office, I would have some type of breakfast around 9.30ish, 10 o'clock, um, which would usually be like berries and yogurt or some type of like protein bar. I don't really have breakfast now. I do coffee first thing in the morning, and then I don't have like a meal until noonish, maybe sometimes one o'clock. So that has helped me. I don't like to say that I'm on any type of diet or anything like that, just cause I, I don't do diets. I just eat well and watch what I eat and try not to overeat, and that's kind of like my thing. Some people may call what I'm doing fasting, but I wouldn't say it's fasting because I have my coffee at around seven o'clock and around 8.39, I may eat an orange. I don't consider my first meal until like noon because that's when I'm actually eating like, you know, some eggs or some chicken sausage or, you know, something of that nature. Like that's what I consider a meal. So that's why I don't think I would call that like intermittent fasting um, but some people would say that that's what I'm doing uh, so yes stick to a strict meal plan not a diet don't deprive yourself still eat the things that you love I have not cut out much of anything I still eat dairy I still eat meat I still eat carbs I just limit the amount that I eat you know and I find substitutes like I've been loving the chickpea pasta um, by Bonza so good Sefton loves it we make spaghetti you know every once in a while and that's the pasta that I use um, cauliflower rice when I'm feeling like I want some type of rice meal I'll use cauliflower rice so if you can find a substitute for those things that you really, really love, that's great. But if not, just limit it. So, you know, do half a slice of a bagel or bread. Do half of whatever that, that thing is that you love. Just don't overindulge. It's all about moderation. Um, I'm not a big carb counter, calorie counter, but I do consider those things when I eat them, you know, I look at the back of it and I see how much is in there. That helps me like portion out how much I should be eating. Now I'm not strict about that because if it's something that I really like, I'll eat more of it and just do a, a more intense workout that day. So it's all about balance, to be honest. Other meals, um, meal ideas, like I said, I do coffee. For me, that's kind of a meal replacement because coffee really curves my appetite like nobody's business. And if I was like forced to only have coffee for a day, I would survive because <laughs> I'd rather have coffee than anything. Give me coffee and water and I'm good. I don't need to eat anything. I know that sounds crazy, but that's just how I am. Um, some people do smoothies. Some people do like shakes. I'm not really into the smoothie shake thing. Although this summer I may get into it cause you know, I do like them. I just never make them. And funny thing is I have all the tools to do smoothies if I wanted to. So that's something that I want to get into. Plus Sefton loves smoothies. Um, and I never really have a problem with him eating fruits or veggies at all. I mean, if you guys follow my vlogs, you see he eats fruit and vegetables most of our meals um, but i think that that would be a fun little twist for him to have like a smoothie because when we go to like smoothie king he likes getting like banana strawberry smoothies so i'll definitely incorporate that um as we get into the warmer season um just as a little like treat 
healthiest treat for us. So I'll definitely share that with you guys um, on my vlogs as well. There's really no right or wrong way to do this. It's just finding what works for you. And I know you hear that a lot and I know tons of people say it, but that's literally the key to this whole thing is finding what works for you. Um, eating more things that are good for you versus bad for you. Um, when you make your grocery list and you go into the grocery store, only buy like healthy things. So I buy more produce than anything. And that helps me out so much because if I have it in there, I don't want it to go to waste. So I'm forced to eat it, you know? So I'm always buying some type of spring mix. I'm always buying fresh spinach, peppers, onions, Brussels sprouts, things like that, because that will ensure that I'm going to eat them because I'm not gonna let any food waste. I mean, I cook every single day. I cooked every day before we were quarantined so it's nothing for me to whip up something really quick but now that you know i'm home more and i'm home with my son more i'm having to be creative with the meals that we're doing but definitely lots and lots of veggies lots of water and just staying active that's it that's all i've been doing so yeah guys that's pretty much everything that i've been doing to maintain my weight loss while we've been quarantined i hope you all found these tips helpful if you have have any questions or comments just list them below thank you all so much for watching and i will catch you on the next one bye